Yo, what's up, YouTube? Chisha Zed back in here again with another video for you. Peace, positivity, self-awareness, and motivation. You know what's up, man. Hit that like button. Show my channel some love. Guys, today's video topic comes from a subscriber who shot me a question that he had via Instagram. As always, man, hit me up on Instagram, man. Say what's up, Chisha Zed. If you have a question, if you have some content that you want me to react to, or if you just want to say hi. I usually respond. So, guys, I'm not going to delay any longer. I'm just going to get right into this. The message said, Hey, Chisha, hope you're having a great day. I was hoping to possibly get your insight in an event that happened to me two days ago. So I work with this girl that's had a major crush on me for a year now, but I never did anything about it because we're co-workers. I got you. Recently, instead of just flirting, she recently had started sexualizing me but it didn't really bother me because I work with a lot of women and this happens to me pretty often. Listen, when I read that part, I was like, man, I could relate. Before doing what I do now for about, I would say like close to almost 10 years, man, I was a nurse's assistant, CNA. Um, I tell the story a lot of the times because it opened my eyes to a lot of stuff, man. When you work around a lot of women, they will sexualize you. What he's saying there is they probably like hit on him. Borderline like SH activity, right? I'm not going to say what that is just to protect my channel. But SH, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you work in the nursing field, because the, the plan for me was, man, when I got right out of high school, side note, guys, I'm going to get back into the story. But when I got out of high school, my mom convinced me that I was going to be a nurse, right? That's what happens. Young minds get influenced very easily. So she said, hey, go get your CNA license and then it will be easier for you to become a nurse. And I never, I just decided I didn't want to do the nursing thing, right? I always worked on like businesses on the side, such and such. And it just never happened. Why? Because I ended up learning more about myself, what I truly wanted. And it just never came to pass. Back into the story. So He's working at a job where he gets hit on a lot by women because, you know, you're the minority if you're working in the medical industry. But there's a specific girl who's always had a crush on him and she's hitting on him. He says here, I'm in very good shape and I'm like 6'3". So eventually I caved in and I just straight up invited her to my house after my mom went to work. I made sure to tell her that we were having sex before she just came over. And she still showed up, so I assumed she was down. She gets to my house and we're chilling for like 20 minutes. I invite her upstairs to my room and get things started. When we get upstairs, she starts acting weird and eventually ends up saying she doesn't want to have sex. She says this and I stay stoic. That's what's up, my dog. And just asked her what changed her mind. She said, I just don't have sex with people on the first link. My initial gut thought was that she didn't find me as attractive I initially perceived. Not gonna lie, I was eager to kick her out, but I knew that wasn't the right move. So I just moved the conversation to some other subject. As she talked, she made a couple of remarks about taking my last name and asked when she'd meet my mom. And I almost forgot to tell you, she's a confirmed 304. So her actions have me really confused. I don't act beta or anything, and at work, I'm pretty well respected. I leave this girl unread and seen consistently and ignore her at work constantly. His final question was, what do you think happened that night? And I'm sorry for the extreme long message. I tried skipping over some things, and it still is extremely long. If you want to make a video about it, just respond to me or either do that. That's cool. I'm 22, and she's 23, by the way. So guys, here's the thing. First off, I want to give my man props for a couple of things. The first is him taking initiative, right? It takes confidence to invite a chick over to your spot, setting that up. And also, him not being emotional in the way that he dealt with the woman, right? When she said, no, I'm good, when he tried to push it, he didn't get offended and get into his emotions. He just played it cool, man. That's what's up. You guys out there that get emotional when you get turned down by women, it's simp beta behavior, right? You're not keeping center. You're allowing a woman to take you off center. So props for that. Now, here's the problem. The problem in all this was really this section right here. It says, I made sure to tell her that I wanted to bust those cheeks 
before she came over. Now, guys, here's the truth, man. And this is just the truth for all women. Again, please pay attention to me when I tell you this. This is the truth for all women. All women, no matter whether she seems like she's a 304 or not, don't want to be perceived as a 304. Right? What's the equivalent of a 304 for a man? It's being a simp. It's being a simp. Men are shamed for being easily manipulated by women and not being wanted by women. Men are shamed for their lack of options. Their lack of options when it comes to women. The less options he has in general, the less it is valued by other women. I don't care what women tell you. I don't care if women tell you they're looking for a guy who other women don't find attractive or they're looking for this virgin guy. That's not the truth, man. Now, women, on the contrary, are shamed for being 304s, for having too many options that they're entertaining, right? For belonging to the streets. So, no woman wants to be viewed as a 304. So, the mistake that was made right off the bat was her knowing that she's going to come to your place and you're going to bust her cheeks. That was the mistake that was made. Listen, for most women, even if they find you highly attractive even though they have high interest in you she doesn't want to feel like a piece of meat she doesn't want to feel like a 304 when she comes to meet you so the mistake that my dude made here is letting her know his intentions before she came over see guys whether a woman wants you to bust those cheeks or not what she wants to feel like is that it just happened a woman doesn't want to walk to a place and walk in there knowing that she's only there for one thing. Especially when you're first doing it with that chick, right? If you build rapport with her and, you know, it's kind of a consistent thing, then she's more open to something like that. But when you're first dealing with the woman and it's your first time, like, actually to smash that chick, you can't let her know that that's what's up. Even if she knows that that's what's up. Why? Because women need plausible deniability. We constantly ask ourselves, why is it so hard for women to accept accountability? Because they just can't. Right? And you might want to change that about women and keep it real with them at all times. But I promise you, you will not get anywhere with most women by keeping it that real. She wants to feel like it just happened. Right? And it doesn't always have to be something that you initiate. She just has to feel like it just happened. Why? Well, for two reasons, right? You've got that aspect of women like to share how they met a guy or the guy that they're dealing with. When she goes to tell her friends about her time that she spent with you, when she goes to tell her friends like, hey, I met up with such and such, what she doesn't want to say is, oh yeah, I went there because he told me he wanted to bust my cheeks, so I showed up and let him bust my cheeks, and then I left. They're going to look at her like, um, girl, really? Like, you really just like letting these guys run you and such and such, right? That's the first aspect. And guys, that might sound like something that's really small, but women really think about this stuff. Because you best believe she's talking to another girl about you, right? So you got to play into that. You got to feed into the possibility of you guys maybe having something more. If anything, if you don't want to feed into that, you got to make it seem like it just happened. You don't want to talk about anything sexual at all. A lot of guys mess up this way is that they get sexual, right? When I say this, I'm talking about actually mentioning you busting your cheeks out loud, like you actually saying it, right? That's a turnoff to most women. A lot of guys mess up on first dates, on dating apps. They get way too explicit way too early you want to avoid that the second reason is let's face it guys as much as women like to use the whole like we live in a new era women are expressing themselves in that way and women shouldn't be judged for being 304s the truth is they are still judged for being 304s and they don't want to be judged for being 304s i don't care how many times they go do that walk the 304 walk or I don't care how many times women say women can be sexually expressive too. I don't care. The point is it's still looked at as something negative. 
right? So there's like a social aspect and she doesn't want to be viewed as a three or four when she comes to you, man. She wants to feel like you actually might be interested in more than just that. Even if she knows that's all you want, you still have to feed into that idea that, hey, it just happened, right? So how do you do that? Well, you tell her something like, hey, this is a really good movie I want to watch at my place. You know, come over, let's check out this movie. Or maybe you collect something, art or something like that. You say, hey, come check out my art collection. I want to show you my art collection. You know what I mean? You have to have something that would give her plausible deniability. Why? Because a woman, in most cases, I don't care how straightforward she wants to sound. When it comes down to it, man, these women don't want to be straightforward with you. Especially when it comes to you busting those cheeks. In most cases, does it happen once in a blue moon? Yes. But in most cases, you get a lot further dealing with the woman who you want to smash. If you set up that environment where things just happen, right? She comes over, you actually talk to her, you look interested, you ask her questions, you get her started, man. Because like I always say, even in my previous videos, a lot of guys don't realize, it, especially if you're younger, the sex starts in the mind, right? Is she comfortable? You're talking to her, you stimulate her here, right? You ask her questions, so how's your week? Okay, cool, cool, what'd you do? Nice, cool, you got any plans for this weekend? And I'm telling you, man, even if she knows she's just open to just smashing and having that no strings attached relationship with you, she still needs some sort of connection between the two of you. And it can't start off sexual, right? You gotta stay away from those words. And then once you build it up, once you guys get closer, you're laughing, you're talking, right? Then you want to make your move at that point. You want to get her to the point where she's thinking, wow, did he really just invite me here to get to know me better? He's so sweet. What a great guy, right? If she doesn't know you, she would bust those cheeks. <laughs> What a great guy. This guy's spectacular. He's asking me how my day's going. He's checking up on me, asking me if I have anything planned tomorrow. Maybe he'll take me on a date this weekend after he busts my cheeks, right? Now she's justifying it. Or maybe she's not justifying it, right? Maybe she was open to letting you bust those cheeks, but she didn't know who you were first. Women have to know who you are, right? They got to get to know you more. And to his situation, he was too eager and she didn't really get to know him a little bit better, right? And she didn't want to leave there thinking that she just came there to be used. Because to most women, stimulation begins in the mind. In the mind, always. So bottom line here is to you guys who are on dating apps, approaching women in person, all that stuff guys like to do about getting really sexual with women, sending women pictures of their joystick right off the bat, not going to work. Not going to work for most women, man. Chill. Take it easy. You need patience, right? That's part of the alpha mentality. Don't be thirsty. She can tell when you're thirsty. Keep your eyes to yourself. Keep cool, calm, and collective. And he played it right in not getting emotionally involved, even if she still rejects you when you play it cool and calm. And she does. But in most cases, from my experience, I'll tell you this. If you show genuine interest, in the chick, you're talking to her, you play, you're almost acting like it could go either way, right? She says, ah, it's getting kind of late. You're like, all right, well, hey, let me know when you want to go home. I'll take you home. No pressure, right? Listen, guys, I've had girls who've left my place in the past, right? And then they call me and say, you know what? I don't want to drive home. I was thinking maybe I could come back, stay the night. Anything is possible, when you play it cool, when you stay center, when you're not too emotional, and when you're not too thirsty. Stop being thirsty. Chill out. Even if she doesn't give it to you the first time, it might be the second time. Chill out. Play it easy. Play it cool. You will never go wrong with playing it cool. Always. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought of the content down below in the comment section. My name is Shisha Zed. Until next time, man. I'm out. Peace. I'm gonna walk your liberty bell. Free to ring through my stride. Freedom to be inside. And be a slave to my pride. And right away it is scream. Man, this love's so serene. I should probably shake it up just a little bit.